Goshen College Associate Professor of Music Dr. Richard Brunson was officially fired from Goshen College on Monday, February 12th. The administrative move comes one week to the day after the Goshen College campus was first made aware of an article posted in the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel about Dr. Brunson. This article detailed numerous accusations against Dr. Brunson about alleged instances of sexual harassment and inappropriate behavior in relation to students while working as a music professor at the University of Wisconsin-Stevens Point. Tuesday, February 6th, the Goshen College Human Resources Department sent an email to the student body in response to the accusations, placing Dr. Brunson on leave, a move Goshen College President Rebecca Stoltzfu says was one that needed to be made swiftly. Our immediate action was to put him on administrative leave while we determined what the best um, course of action was for Goshen College campus and with legal counsel around that. And this morning we came to the clear decision that our best course was to terminate Dr. Brunson's employment at Goshen College immediately. Dr. Brunson's alleged inappropriate behavior documented through private message chains and in graphic detail. Students across campus shocked to learn about the allegations expressed a wide range of emotions in response. Mainly just felt anger and also just feeling disgusted by the whole thing. Immediate thing was shock. Yeah, it was the type of thing where it seems like, could this re really be real? Students who learned under Dr. Brunson now reflecting and dissecting the interactions they had with him since his hiring in the fall. He did follow people on social media. The only thing that I thought was inappropriate was that he requested to follow me on Instagram like 10 times when I kept declining the thing. It was just like constant, like, I want to follow you and stuff. So I do see them differently because in the article that we read, it said that he would connect to his students back then through social media or through email. Dr. Brunson's termination puts the Goshen College Orchestra in a difficult position with their Concerto Aria concert set to happen this week. Students doing their best now to take a positive attitude into the coming week. We're feeling really hopeful. Brian Mast is stepping up again and just our connection of music and how we all love making music with each other is also the same thing that's keeping us so passionate of wanting to still be able to do it. Like, we are the orchestra, we make the music regardless of whoever's conducting. Ultimately, I am experiencing a lot of hope. He wasn't the right fit. Knowing that there's someone out there that could be the right fit, finding that person is exciting. The hiring of Dr. Brunson has raised questions on the specifics of the Goshen College hiring policy. Goshen College says they went through standard background checks and protocols, but since the investigation into Dr. Brunson's behavior at the University of Wisconsin-Stevens Point was internal, no criminal records of alleged inappropriate behavior existed and were not shared with the college. That was information that was not revealed to us through our, through his references or through the background check that we do for all employees. You know, after any sort of adverse circumstance or crisis, what we are committed to do is examining the processes to say, how could this have been prevented? But also, how can we respond even better the next time? In a statement to the Goshen College record, Dr. Brunson's lawyer, Michael Brown, said, quote, Dr. Brunson, knowing he has done wrong, nonetheless prays and asks for patience, grace, and an opportunity to be heard. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Seth Smith-Kaufman.